I don't understand why you called me in here. I brought you in for Harrison, my daughter, trying to toss her out of her lunch seat, and... Actually, your naughty new girl daughter was sitting at my table. Don't you dare give me that rubbish. Princess got to that seat first and you wanted it all to yourself so you decided to target her, didn't you? No, I was just going to my seat. Don't you dare lie to me, young lady. Your behavior towards her not only got you arrested, but expelled from school as well. You ruined your last chance of a proper education. More like your innocent little princess ruined that for me. How dare you blame her for something that was entirely your fault. Oh, and you are going to be sleeping in the jail tonight. You can't keep me in the lockup. I haven't done anything. That's enough of that. Come on, it's jail for you. Now. If you don't stop behaving this way, you will be transferred to the juvenile ward of Treeburn Female Offenders Unit. But I can't go to prison. I'm only a little kid. We can, and we will if they have space for you. And you're 14 years old, not a little kid anymore. But my word, you do act like one. How dare you speak to me like that? I can have you fired and arrested. I don't think so. How dare you commit such disgusting offenses, and then continue to do so after being arrested and jailed? My mother will sue you for this. I'll correct you on that. Your mother handed you over to us in the first place, agreeing it would do you good to be locked up for a night. So be quiet and think about what you've done. And you are grounded until you learn how despicable your behavior has been. If you carry on like this, you'll end up in prison for life. 